towering over the frosty plains of Ice Age Europe. A true giant once roamed, a majestic creature with massive antlers stretching over 10 feet across. This was Megaloceros, one of the largest deer species to have ever lived. But what was it really like? Why did it grow such enormous antlers? And what led to its ultimate extinction? On this installment of Gabe's Wild Planet, we will step back in time to uncover the story of this prehistoric giant. Megaloceros was a genus of giant deer that lived during the early Pleistocene epoch to Middle Holocene epoch, roughly 1.2 million years ago to 7,700 years ago. Often called the Irish elk, Megaloceros was neither exclusively Irish nor an elk, but rather a massive deer related to modern fallow deer. The most famous species, Megaloceros giganteus, was one of the largest deer to ever walk the earth. These colossal herbivores stood over 7 feet at the shoulder and could weigh around 1,500 pounds. However, what truly set Megaloceros apart were its enormous palmate antlers, which span over 12 feet from tip to tip and weighed 88 pounds, making it the largest antlers of any known species living or extinct. Megaloceros giganteus, the species we are focusing on, thrived during the mid-Pleistocene to mid-Holocene epoch period spanning from 400,000 years ago to as recently as 7,700 years ago. This was an age dominated by shifting ice sheets, vast open tundras, and a variety of megafauna. It roamed Europe and parts of Asia, with fossils of the creature being discovered in places like Ireland, hence its nickname, Siberia, and even China, suggesting a vast distribution. During its reign, Megaloceros inhabited a range of environments from open woodlands to cold treeless tundras. These creatures were well adapted to living in grasslands and mixed forest, where their towering antlers wouldn't be hindered by dense trees. It shared its environment with other Ice Age megafauna, such as cave lions, woolly rhinos, and the icon of the Ice Age, the woolly mammoth. It even coexisted with early humans, as shown in ancient cave paintings found in France and Spain. These images suggest that prehistoric people may have admired or even hunted these enormous creatures for food, fur, and bone tools. Like modern deer, Megaloceros was a strict herbivore that primarily fed on grasses, shrubs, and possibly tree bark. Its teeth were designed for grinding plant material, making it well suited for foraging in open plains and light forests. Seasonal changes likely influenced its diet, with grazing more common in summer and browsing on twigs and leaves in harsh winters. As for behavior, Megaloceros was likely a herd animal, moving in groups for protection and social interaction. During the mating season, males probably engaged in fierce battles using their massive antlers to compete for dominance, similar to modern deer species today. Without a doubt, the most remarkable feature of Megaloceros was its enormous antlers. Spanning 12 feet from tip to tip and weighing up to 88 pounds, these antlers may have played a crucial role in attracting mates and intimidating rivals. But such an enormous headpiece came at a cost. It required significant energy and nutrients to grow and maintain. Interestingly, some researchers believe that the sheer size of the antlers may have contributed to the species' decline. As forests expanded following the Ice Age, navigating dense environments with massive antlers may have become more difficult, giving an advantage to smaller, more adaptable deer species. Essentially, the animal's greatest strength became its weakness. Despite surviving for thousands of years, Megaloceros eventually vanished. But why? Scientists believe a combination of factors played a role in its extinction. Climate change at the end of the Ice Age transformed Megaloceros' habitat, reducing the open grasslands it depended on. The spread of dense forests made it harder for the giant deer to thrive. Additionally, humans, who were already skilled hunters, may have hunted Megaloceros for food, further pressuring their dwindling population. Over time, the once mighty deer faded into history, leaving behind only fossils and ancient cave art drawn by early humans. Although Megaloceros is long gone, its legacy remains. Fossils of its antlers have fascinated scientists and historians for centuries. This species is often depicted in Ice Age documentaries and museum displays, reminding us of the grandeur of prehistoric life. Even today, artists and researchers continue to reconstruct its world, giving us a glimpse into the past. Megaloceros serves as a powerful symbol of nature's ever-changing cycles, how species rise, adapt, 
and sometimes disappear. But by studying its life and extinction, we can better understand the challenges faced by modern wildlife and how to protect the biodiversity of today's world. The Ice Age may be over, but its giants still capture our imagination. Megaloceros, the great deer of prehistory, stands as one of nature's most breathtaking creatures. Its towering antlers and powerful presence reminds us of a world once filled with giants. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing videos. See you next time.